What are you doing with it? You can smirk. Uh, is it Mike Senior? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And uh, Mike Junior? Yes, Judge. Uh, Mike Senior, I had a message from uh, one of my court staff that you said something before I sat in court. What was it, please, Mike Junior? What are you doing here, you little... Say it to me. <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah. How old are you, young man? 22. You think that's a reasonable thing to say to your son? You think it's reasonable? No, no, I ask the questions. That's the starting point. Do I think that's reasonable? Yeah, I do. You do? Yes. Oh, we'll go on a little journey of discovery, you and me. Are we? We're in court. Do you understand that, Mike Senior? Yes. And so, when I'm talking, you're not. And the same for you. And don't talk to each other. Do you understand? I don't need to talk to him. Do you understand? Yes. So you want, effectively, a court order to be made against him to teach him a lesson? Yes. That he can't get away with treating his children as if they're nothing. Or just because they don't act the way they, he thinks they should. Is that right? Yeah. Is it? Let me tell you, every time you was on your I picked you up. Oh, I'm so glad you did that. Goodbye. He's out. <sighs> it didn't go as planned, but... Either way, the money means no mind. I'll still go to university and I'll still do what I want. But he won't learn from his mistakes. Nothing, he'll never learn. Well, what right did he have to get money off me? I've treated my kids like gold, even you. No, I've never had nothing. treated you like gold. My you, wife's? You never pay nothing for your kids. No, because I never had it because I had too many kids just to be get. I'm better than you'll ever be. Is that right? Yeah, damn straight. You will never be half the man I am. Not in this lifetime. All you are, right, the only thing you're good at is art. There are thousands of men who would like to be able to get away with what, what I am. I'll sleep with whoever I can. Don't contact me. Don't speak to me. I don't want nothing to do with him. He's not my father. And I will. I'm changing my last name. I'm free. I'm a free person. I survived cancer. I survived heart attack. So why shouldn't I, I go what I want. You were fishing, correct? Yes. How long have you been fishing that evening? Probably about five or ten minutes. Right, so you just cast off, had you, or you just I'd preparing? I just about got my tackle into the water, yeah. <laughs> 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 Mistake. It's all right. <laughs> <clears throat> Having got your... just about got your... <laughs> tackle into the water, did you... did anything bite it? <laughs> One or two fish, yes. Dean, you look rather familiar to me. OK. As I understand it, um, many years ago, you were, in fact, still are, to some extent, in a rather well-known music group, am I right? You are right, Judge, yes. Called Black Lace. Yes. Now, for some people, particularly those who were... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which of the two women are you? <laughs> I'm the one on the left, <laughs> with the glasses. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> it is 31 years ago, Judge. No, I, I can see that. <laughs> it's just a bit, you look rather like sort of Sue Lawley and Janet Street Porter's love child. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, it was the 80s. It was. <laughs> I remember. You don't remember the 80s. You were only five, I would have thought. I would imagine so, yes. yes. I can imagine. <laughs> now, what were the most... Famous song. What were your most famous songs? Our most famous songs were Superman, Agadu. Don't stop there. You can't <laughs> hit and run with that. <laughs> your most favourite song was Agadu. Agadu. As in push pineapple. Shake, Shake a tree. Shake a tree. <laughs> don't. Aga what? Aga don't. What do you mean Aga don't? Don't do it anymore, please. <laughs> <laughs> Kim and Gary are in court to claim £440.56 for a month's unpaid rent and utility bills from their former friend. Defendant Vicky says she only stayed at the property for a few days and as there was never a discussion about her contribution, she owes nothing.
You owe us this rent, Vicky. Yeah, what the f ever? Stick, Vicky. Sticky, you, you owe us this rent. Vicky, We're not leaving here until Sticky we get Vicky. this rent. You ain't getting Vicky. Yeah. Sticky Vicky. Yes, you yeah. are, Sticky Vicky. Yeah, you owe us You yeah. are owing it to, to us today. Don't make me fall asleep. You're so you poor. come on to me. Yeah, I'd rather come on to a rock You world. come on to me. You, you came you on know to you me. Did. Yeah, language. Be quiet. Quiet. Sorry, Judge. Sorry, Sorry Judge. Quiet. Sorry. We are fuming. Look, we should have won that. Ah, oh, well, uh, let's just say justice prevailed. They got Jog on and do one. Go on, jog on. You deserve what? what you get. And after this now, Vicky, yeah, you can delete my number, block it, because I don't want nothing to do with you. You're finished, and you stay girl. away from You're my finished, girl. I've got my man back. Yeah, and look at the state yeah, of it. Right. We cooked for her. We, we actually cleaned up after her. She's supposed to have cleaned up. We did up everything but prep more of her backside for her. Now I've got rid of them. Get on with my life. Move on. What were you spending your money on? Um, I have to be honest, and uh, it's an addiction I've had for, for quite a number of years, and it's uh, ladies' hosiery, so... Now, ladies' hosiery comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes. You had a particular interest, I'm going to call it, and I don't mean this ungenerously, but it would be how it would be commonly understood, a fetish, correct? That's correct. That's correct. Right, Sophia? Mm-hmm. Yes. And your fetish was for what specific kind of ladies' hosiery? Uh, expensive brands. Uh, of? Of tights. How much would you spend on a pair of tights? Uh, without naming brands, um, some of the most expensive um, brands sort of, you'd pay up to 30 to 100 pounds. You might spend 100 pounds on a pair of nylon tights and yeah. you're not paying any rent living in this woman's mother's house. That has, yeah, that has happened. Why might you spend £100 on a pair of tights? I think, like any addiction, um, you always want more, um, no matter what it is. And I think you, you, you're just striving for, for the best in, in whatever it is. So if it was, I hate to say it, narcotics, people would want the best narcotics. If, you know, it you know, could be anything. So for me, um, it was... It was the, the fetish just took over and I just wanted good quality. What is that of interest? Where would you wear them? Would you just wear them, go to work and that sort of thing? It, it wasn't always about the wearing of them. Uh, I just liked the, the feel and the sensation of them. But I, um, it was more... I did wear them to work occasionally under trousers, or under jeans, you know, but um, it would be mainly at home in my, own, in my own personal space. Are you wearing tights now? I'm not, no. I, I was going to, but your, uh, your security guards took my bags off me, so I couldn't, I couldn't wear them, my friend. <laughs> How many pairs of tights do you have? Um, I, own, I own thousands. Um, I've actually... Uh, I think I've got some pictures. I have a picture for you. Let me see. Uh, to see. I can see, look, you've got a, a set of tights which previously owned by Ginger Spice over there. <laughs> <laughs> the Union Jack ones. Yeah, very patriotic. Was that because you loved tights or you were feeling especially patriotic? Uh, very patriotic and, um, <laughs> and yeah, I just like them.